Hey everyone, welcome back. So, we're here, it's Friday night, it's time to get to playing games. And sorry for the three minutes late, but my brother literally came in the door as I was ready to play to push like the let's start streaming button. So I had to say hi to him, to my grandparents and whatnot. So, sorry for the few minutes late. Now, I don't know if he's going to come down here. He might come next to me while I'm streaming because he's here for the weekend. We're going to uh, Otaku Town on Sunday. And as you can hear, my daughter is jumping around because she's excited because her uncle is here. The music is too loud. Yeah, I already, I already put it down, but I'll put it down further. I'll kill it. I'll kill it rough uh, a lot. There. Worst comes to worst, I'll put it louder when we're actually playing. I don't know if he's gonna come down. He might. He might not. I'm gonna tell you guys really quickly before he gets here. However, if he does come on camera, I'm just gonna let you know he is. He's high functioning, but he is autistic. Yes, he lives near Montreal, uh, but he is he is autistic, so he might like. Be like a little zoned out to you guys or whatnot or like he might be slow to react to like stimuli and whatnot he's high functioning but he is autistic so um wanted to let you guys know okay so you guys know in case he comes down here so i've been reading through the chat and champ dancer st seems to be having problem with his health insurance that really sucks. I know it can be a mess in the States when that happens, because on top of it just being a mess, I know stuff is really freaking expensive down there for, for health insurance stuff. Now, Topaz wants to be part of the stream already. She's saying hi. She's like, me too. I want to be there tonight. So we are going to be playing a Neon Blight tonight. I'm really, I'm looking forward to see how this game plays out. I only have, I honestly have no idea. I got the codes yesterday downloaded it but i i didn't have tried time to try it out before because work was a little crazy today and i've been trying to kick up the content i hope you guys have noticed the shorts are more numerous the normal videos are more numerous i'm working on another video that should be coming out this weekend alongside eShop deals and my camera's being choppy for some weird weird reason now, Topaz wants to play with the microphone. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. You're probably hearing it. Give me a sec. My grandma gave me candies, which is why I'm eating candies right now. Come here. Come here, Topaz. Oh, yeah. There you go. But, um, yeah, definitely. So, um, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Just wanted to get her on this side. So, yeah, I have a I have a video coming out on the weekend. We're going to be doing another mod to a pro controller. I've been really wanting to do this one. Like, it's with Extreme Rate. They came out with an amazing shell, Zelda themed. I I've been really wanting to do it. I actually bought another pro controller to be able <laughs> to reshell it into into a um, a another version of. Uh, a Zelda Pro Controller, so I'm super looking forward to that one. I've had it on the slate for the past week, but every time I want to do it, something else drops. Like Pokemon Directs, like eShop sales, like updates to games and whatnot. So every time it's slated to be filmed, it gets like pushed back because since it's sort of like a controller mod, it isn't super time sensitive, you know? Um, before we actually get to the game, guys, because, you know, on the channel, we cover a lot of eShop deals. I haven't done a lot of physical deals yet, and this is one of the other ones that I'm hoping to have time to film quickly this weekend. But there are some really good physical, well, really good. Like, there are some big games on sale right now physically with some pretty decent prices. And there's also a digital code at... Um, on Amazon and GameStop right now that is insane to pick up that is not that beats every eShop price on this particular game that we've had so far and it is a great game to pick up if you don't have it yet and not only that it actually ties into the fact that 
I bought you guys two codes for the games. And I'll be giving them away during the, during the stream tonight. Because the deal is so good that I said, let's pick up two codes. And I tested, even though I bought them here in Canada, they work for the US and Canada. So we are good to go. We're going to be doing a giveaway tonight. And I'll tell you what the game is in just a minute. I wanted to show you these deals really quickly. So uh, Nippon Ishii finally got my order in. I, you will be getting the collector's editions for for Trials of Reverie. Nice. And Trials of Natura. Congratulations, champ. Very here, happy to hear that. Um, yeah, so let's. I'm going to screen share here. Number one right now. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, guys, it's 27% off. Like, these are not, like, insane deals, like $10 games, but, the, like, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is almost like a first-party game. It hardly ever goes on sale. And right now, 27% off, super good. Not only that, but, guys, Tears of the Kingdom is back on sale for $52.99. Now, it, it, the, the deal, you can actually see it on the web, on the Amazon page, but I did put it in my cart so you guys can see the price like right up here. Hold on, I have to like move the window. Nah, it's not working. I But it, trust me, guys, it's $52.99. I can go into the cart. I could go into the cart and, and show you, but Tears of the Kingdom, guys, right now, $52.99. So if you've been waiting, but my favorite ones are the last two. Bayonetta 3, 34% off, $39.50, lower than it's even ever been on the eShop. So right now, super good deal. And the last one is the one I picked up for all of you, the two codes I'm giving away. Overcooked, all you can eat, the digital code, so it's not the physical, but the digital code right now is $4.99. So I don't know if you know, but Overcooked, all you can eat is Overcooked 1 plus Overcooked 2. And you even get the, the upgraded version of Overcooked 1. So you can actually play the levels from Overcooked 1 online, which you couldn't in the original Overcooked 1. And <clears throat> sorry about that. As I mentioned, I picked up a couple of codes. I'll be giving them away in the stream tonight. You can proudly say you bought the first two games full price. Honestly, you don't even need to feel bad about it. These, those were the, overcooked is so much fun that even if you paid them full price, I, I wouldn't feel bad about that. But four ninety nine for both for like all you can eat is so insane. Like I said, I picked up a couple of uh, codes, so I'll be giving them away later in tonight's stream. So now that we have all that out of the way. Let's not wait anymore because most of you are probably here to play the game. Let's flip back over and we'll get started on the game. Not Overcooked? You mean uh, um, Zeno, Xenoblade? Xenosaga? Oh, or uh, Bayonetta? <laughs> okay, yeah, Xenoblade and Bayonetta. Awesome. Well, yeah, I bought them full price, full price too, so don't no, no, no bad feelings there from me. We played it on stream day one, so I, I paid that bad boy uh, uh, for at least for Bayonetta, not Xenoblade, but the Bayonetta, I paid it full price. So we don't feel bad about that. That was a game that was totally worth it. It was a very, very good action. Okay, so let's get started, guys. Let's jump into the game tonight. We'll figure out. Now, I got surprised because I wanted, I normally try to start the game and sort of leave it at the screen where you're like creating your character or whatnot. But as soon as you hit new game, man, it pops in right away into the storyline. So if you guys want storyline tonight, make sure you're paying attention. As soon as I hit that A button, we're going to be jumping in. Neo Chunking, August 27th, 2233. Damon wants to come down. Ain't the city so beautiful from up here? It sure is something. Sometimes I forget that this place is a shit show, and I stare into the endless skyline, admiring the human ingenuity. We're on the verge of a bright and beautiful civilization, I can feel it. Since when are you so philosophical? I don't know, I'm trying to have a positive outlook for once. I, I, I'm i checking out Die by the Sunset, but it's like there's so... For once, next week, there's actually a lot of really good games I'd like to try. I think you're right. There's so much going on there, but looking at it from afar, it truly is a marvel. 
And like Red Dead Redemption is the only one that I want, but I sort of, even if it's for the channel, I feel bad paying $50 for it. Because by the way, I do find it's overpriced for, for, for the game, but like, I don't know. I'm like on the fence. I'll, deb I'll keep debating it over the weekend if it's worth spending $50 for the channel on. Like, if it, if it wasn't for the channel, by the way, I would not be buying it for $50. <laughs> so if I do end up buying it, it is simply because we, we're going to play it next Friday or, or something like that. You know, the, the worst is I know I can't do a review on it because the game is way too long to buy and try to review within like a week. I could do a quick performance review just to say how it's performing, but yeah. Quake 2 Remastered? No, I did not yet. Okie doke. We've arrived on the scene. Two officers down. Send EMS. Okay, so... L is moving the character. I think that was self-explanatory. ZL is a dodge. You take north, I'll take east, we'll cover more ground. Okay. Okay, so we need the dodge to get around around the traps. Got it. So I'm getting enter the gungeon vibe so far. It almost feels like there's an auto-aim system, but there is not. So, so far, controls are not too bad. The shooting controls, I'll, I'll have to get a hang of. They weren't exactly what I was expecting, and... But we'll, we'll, we'll see as we move through. But so far... I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm getting uh, Enter the Gungeon vibes. Looks amazing, gyro controls. Yeah, like Quake 1, the gyro controls were so good that just that can be worth the upgrade. But they've done way more than that. I, I don't even have access to the options. Dang. Not yet, of course. Actually, it does auto-aim. It's like once you hit with the first shot, it keeps auto-aiming after that. Metal deflector. Find all things. DPS. Fire rate. Okay. Okay. So we're supposed to have a roguelike element. Roguelite elements here. So I'm wondering how much of a roguelite it's going to be. I'm going to turn my sound up a bit because I'm not getting any of the music. How do I switch weapons at the bottom? Nope. What about... Oh, D-pad. But this does nothing. Okay. It's like once you land a bullet, it's like it's auto-aiming after that. It's like you only have to land the first bullet, then you have to, then you can just <clears throat> focus on moving. I know it's up with my voice tonight, it's cracking all of a sudden. However, I was working and talking like freaking all day. Oh, this, that was our friend. It's supposed to be roguelite so far. Hey, Crapzoid. Yeah, I think so. Is there a Crapzoid in the chat? <laughs> hey. Um, I don't know yet if it's random design, uh, r random levels. We're going to figure that out as we go. I'm feeling like right now it isn't, because it seems like a tutorial section.
Like the music's okay, but so far it's a little bit too um, like environmental. I don't know if you guys are getting it. Like it's okay, but I would have liked it to be a little more punchy during the action. So he's like basically threatening us and saying that if we don't let him go, we're all going to die. And now we're 15 years later. Too much Futurama. Hey, what's up, Alex? How are you doing, my man? Hey, uh, Franco just arrived. So we're 15 years in the future. Good. Any traffic on your way? I love how they just made his mustache gray and it's like, okay, we're 15 years later. Too much actually hey better jokes better jokes and no jokes i know we'll miss you kiddo the prison the precinct won't be the same without yeah oh stop it i'm sure sam i will find my shoes just fine i guess you're right that's why we'll miss you and you always had faith in all of us like, I hope that later on the story makes a little bit more sense. Because <laughs> right now it's like, okay, sure. New quest. Welcome to your new home. Okay, great. What is like an open world design or something? Can we shoot here? No, we cannot. Oh. I see it. Blue line is basically telling us where to go. Welcome to your new home. Quest completed. New shop name. Let's just call it MSGT. Make this easy. MSGT guns. Are we selling guns? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. My name's Tanisha. Nice to meet you. I'm Laura. How'd you get in here? Sorry, yeah. I saw you flying to town and was anxious to meet you. Okay. You're the new shop owner, sure. Yeah, yeah, it belonged to my uncle. Gregory's your uncle, so you're the cop's niece. He was talking about you. He talked about me a little bit, and now I, w I can finally meet you. So I'm going to speed through the story stuff here, guys, because um, what that, what's happened? I've been watching champ, but my team is uh, through my online membership. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to speed through the storyline, guys, here, because honestly, I don't think... I don't know, maybe the storyline is going to start getting like gritty or something, but whatnot. But I don't feel like this is going to be a game um, on how to sell your stuff. Sure, give us a little t no tutorial. Oh my god, you know what this is? Uh, like, automatically this vision has uh, set up for me. It makes me think of, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, oh my god, um, one of my favorite freaking like dungeon crawlers. Hold on. Like three bucks right now. Oh my god, it's gonna come to me later. I'm so freaking bad. Championship is football, soccer. Yeah, no problem, man. I I, <laughs> I guess that one. That's why I'm, I stopped talking because honestly, I haven't been following in the last couple of years, and mostly because none of my teams play in any time zones that like is even remotely reasonable for me to watch on TV, and I hate watching a game when I already know the score because I get all the notifications from Google and crap. So I know the like I know the scores and I know what's happening, but I don't watch the games that much anymore. Oh my god, it is balancing baby. It's a secret to thrive. It's like uh, what you call it, freak. Alex, you can help me out here. It's the exact same thing. You're a roguelite dungeon crawler. You've got a, your you've got your items. You've got to sell them in your store what, during the day, and then at night you go um, uh, moonlighter. 
Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm like, freak. Moonlighter. I don't know, man. This all of a sudden hit me with like Moonlighter vibes. Other, although it's like bullet hell rather than action, uh, like um, rather than sort of sword play action. So I'm wondering if this is going to be basically a bullet hell version of Moonlighter, which would be awesome and would mean that it's going to be freaking good. Okay, so we can't sell our only gun. We've got nothing else. Do we have any, like, we don't have a chest or anything? Is this made by the same developer by any chance? Who made Moonlighter? Nope. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not. Nope. At least it's not the same publisher not the same developer either they actually made mage seeker legend uh, league the league of legends game but i don't know i'm i'm just getting the i'm just getting the immediate moonlighter vibes here if you want to furnish your store come visit at neon stop So terminal. Is this storage inventory? No. Storage five thousand. Where do I see my money? Does anyone see where I? Because I, it's not under my face. Like, most of the time when I can't find something, that did not work. I wanted to grab me. It's not under my face. Where is my money? Most likely in my... Oh, it's there. I have 550 and it's like 5,000. Okay, so that doesn't make sense. Okay, we could de decorate the place, but I don't think we're going to be doing that. Storage, display unit, here. Standing shelf, a simple shelving unit. ZR, okay, I'm pressing ZR, but ah, oh, here it is, okay, got it. I don't know, let's put the shelving unit there. That did not work. Let's get a hang of these controls. So we need to grab, we said we want, I want a shelving unit. There. I'm pressing ZR, but it's not dropping. And I hit, ah, there we go. Okay, so I guess it's got to maybe be on the right pixel or something, but we've got it. <laughs> the important thing is we got it. Okay, now if we go here. And a uh, standing shelf and uh, let's. Okay, I got, now I got it. Okay, right stick changes this. Left stick moves it here, and I can move with the right. R1s, and okay, I've got it now. Sorry, guys, man. Brain tonight is just, like, zero. Like, that, that's what I hate about having, like, super busy work days, is that I get to, like, after work, and my brain's, like, mush. Especially today, man, I had, like, a bunch of difficult cases 
So I was like, not in a goodish mood. Okay, so we did that. Now let's go here into our car. And we're flying off. I have not tried Legend Bowl yet, but that is definitely on my list of games I would like to play if I have the time. Okay, so we're here. Hello, Traveler. Who are you? My name is Lara. Welcome, Lara. I'm Echo. May I ask, why are you here? I have business to attend to, like most who come here. I have a proposition for you. Will you indulge me? I don't see why not. Perfect. There's a lot of impurity in the outer border. I would like you to ask you tasks for me. Uh, to do tasks for me. With rewards, of course. Okay, let's do it. Excellent. Come and see me when you're ready to know. I'm ready. You, sh uh, you shall kill a hundred blight creatures for me in order to purge the outer border from the infested. Okay. So, we are here. This is our map. I'm interested to see if the, this, these are going to be randomly generated or if we get this map every time. So, we will see. Okay, we can go up, we can go down. Let's go down. Let's go contrary to probably where most people would probably go up first. Are these blight creatures? Do I have a reload button? I guess for the moment we'll just wander aimlessly till we get an idea of what we're supposed to be doing. And I don't seem to be able to loot their bodies for anything extra. Like I had a shotgun. This guy has like an, a semi-automatic or something like that. Okay. There's a question mark here. So let's go towards a question mark. A gun machine. A bulldog 12 gauge. DPS is up. Fire rate down. Ammo down. Mag down. Let's pick it up nonetheless. We don't have any keys, so we need keys to use this. Now let's try this. Oh! Nice! We now have a shotgun, but we have limited ammo for this one. Let's try not waste it. Ouch. There we go. Reload time sucks on this weapon, though. But that's odd. The monsters are killing each other, or the do the monsters are killing the humans. I'd like them to give us a tiny bit more direction on what we're supposed to be doing here. Like I know there, I have like this mini quest to, to kill blight monsters. But I don't even know what's counting as a blight monster. And this dude was tough, man a lot of shots oh we can save the game but it doesn't work okay options I cannot enter them either I 
Unless it's ZR, ZL, new, odd. Oh wait, maybe if I save, no. New, hmm. So far I'm like, I'm finding the game has an interesting concept because it's it seems to be based, like I said, somewhat like Moonlighter, which is a game I loved. But I do find that so far, even though, you know, roguelites aren't known for like really giving a lot of explanation, this one, this feels like a little really low. Like, how do I pick this up? What is this thing and why can I not pick it up? Hey, Topaz, how are you doing? <laughs> we're going to try and figure this one out, boys. We're going to we're going to get into a groove and we're going to figure out exactly what we're supposed to be doing here. Most likely when we're going to die for the first time, we're going to get some insight. <laughs> hey, sit down, Topaz. I want to know why I can't pick up this box. Because I have to be on a free space down here. No. No buttons are working. Okay, so whatever it is, guess we cannot pick up the box for the moment. Now, I know we went this way, but I feel like I want to go downwards before we go upwards. And now I was on no weapon. Oh my god. These guys are mowing me down, and that was a little odd there. There was like a graphical glitch there for a second. Now, Topaz, you're really not by getting in front of the screen. Sorry about that, guys. Oof. Okay, so let's go for another towards another question mark. I'm really feeling like that gun is not as good as our basic gun. <laughs> like the more I'm using it, every time I'm like, hmm, I feel like I'd rather have our basic gun. Dude, another box we can't use. It's driving me nuts here. What's the, oh, teleporter. Okay, we can teleport. Oh, I get it. When we find one of these, we can teleport to one of the others. So when we find these, we can actually quick travel to them. Okay, I got that part at least. Lock jaw pit bull. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay, now she picked up the box. Was it ammo? Is it ammo and it's because it's compatible with this gun? My god, this is driving me nuts. Too many questions. Okay, this gun hits like a truck. I'm feeling that like that was an ammo crap crate. Okay, Topaz, like, you're really being super annoying tonight. Sorry, guys, like, <laughs> she's walking, like, right in front of my screens, and I can't, either I can't see the chat, or I can't see the game. <laughs> she's looking at me like she wants to be troublesome tonight.
Okay, we can drop the guns by pressing down. So I imagine once I hit five guns, if I want to sort of switch guns, I have to drop another one. Holy crud. I was reading chat there. Remember that RPG where you play as girls that are based on consoles like PlayStation Dreamcast? Get I get that vibe. You're talking about that other game, right? Mado? There's charm and jank. <laughs> I guess so. There are, but you are right. There are some janky games that just have charm and how janky they are. Yeah, it is ammo. This time I just saw it. I picked up ammo. And we just got hearts back. Okay. I guess we I guess we should be aiming for the question marks because so far like that's the only thing that's been I would say progressing us to something. That was freaking terrible. Yeah, so it's really weird that when I had the shotgun earlier, I couldn't pick up the ammo. But now that I have this gun, all of a sudden I'm picking up the ammo. We have a key now, right? We can go to the gun thing. Okay. I'm eating the last candy my grandma gave me. Grandma and their candies. Oh, what did I get? Enemy bullets are slower than usual. Okay, so I guess when we pop a key into that, it gives us like a random upgrade. So far, I like I'm I'm having mixed feelings about the game. We're still very early in, and like it obviously we have to see how everything gels together. But Like I said, I'm just I'm just wishing they would have given a little bit more explanation at the beginning. I have to roll. I have to dodge roll a little more. I know I'm I'm running away, but I'm not dodge rolling. Boots. Lied with them. Like, can we we choose like one of these? Is that it? Can I talk to the dude behind the counter? Bullets are faster. The snowball bullet effect. Spikes don't penetrate these boots, and enemies receive damage when we hit when they hit us. Let's try the snowball bullet effect, because I have no idea what that means. Can I choose more than one? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I can drop... Like a gun? Okay, I can have five items. Okay, now this is getting interesting. I can have five items. I can drop items here and pick up other items. And it doesn't seem to be a limit. What's this? What's the bull snowball bullet? Hmm. I just. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I was holding. Wasn't I holding the shotgun when I was trying? Oh, but you're maybe it's just the ammo wasn't compatible. Now this. What is this dude? Because that so looks like a dude that's like dead. Okay, so that's a shop. 
like I said, we're going to try to get to all the... Um, Oh, I got the snowball effect. The bullets go through people. Did you see the bullet went through the first guy and hit the second guy behind him? I'm guessing that is the snowball effect. P.O.D.S. Like what? What? <laughs> I'm sure it's a puzzle, but I'm like, what the heck? Praise be the overlord for he fends off our demons. However, we re if we read just the words with highlighted, it's praise overlord demon saviors. Are they trying to be like fancy and like praise overlord demon saviors? Let's try to remember. <laughs> try to remember those words just in case they they like come up and like, hey, what were the highlighted words? This is so... This game is weird. Honestly, it's not what I was expecting, but I'm not yet ready to pass judgment. Pass judgment. 36, I definitely do not have enough for that. Katana. I have, like, no enough money for none of these. None. Whatsoever. I guess it'll be for another time. Wait, there was a question mark behind that dude. Question mark place behind this dude. I just hurt myself. I'm not too smart. We just got a key. Another key. Interesting. Is this like a dungeon? No, it's a boss fight. This is the guy that said he would kill all of us. God dang, people. We're about to get... Most likely beat the crap out of us because I'm pretty sure we were supposed to power up way more than this before we started the boss fight. Oh my god, how did I just do that? <laughs> 
Because <laughs> I'm sure I got hit there at the end. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the bullets went right through me. I like I felt I messed up unless I really dodged roll like ultra instinct style at the freaking last available second. I was sure I was dead right there. <laughs> hey, see ya, champ. Sorry, man. I haven't been following the chat too much. I know you guys have been chatting away. Sorry, my game. Sorry, my friends, man. I've been focusing on trying to figure out this game so we can get things set up and 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 get, keep things going. But, um, <laughs> I'm done with the mind games. Himes hired me. They asked me to get the ultimate weapon. What are you talking about, the ultimate weapon? Listen, I don't know more than you do. All I know is that they want it bad. What's in it for you? You can't be doing this all out of your own goodwill. They offered me a fresh start. What? A new body. My records wiped a life without crime. And those are words I would never expect from you. I'm the only one who started this life because I had to. Got trapped in it and was never able to escape. <laughs> I know, Alex, man. When I saw it, I was like, what the heck, man? Uh, like, it, it was in that last wave at one point. I definitely, like, walked right into the bullet. I did hit the roll, but I'm sure I hit the roll after. Because there is a cooldown, like, on the roll. You can't just spam it. Uh, and I'm pretty freaking sure I hit it. Anyway, you know what? Sometimes jank can work both ways. There's janky hitboxes that that you hate, and there's janky hitboxes that you love. This 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 one is one that I love. Oh man, glad glad to know, lover boy J Mac. I'm glad you finally caught a stream. And guys, I'm gonna be doing the first giveaway for one of the uh, codes for for um, overcooked all you can eat. I'll, I'll be doing one of the codes in about five minutes. So if any of you are in for the giveaways, uh, make sure to pay attention. I'll give you guys the code word very shortly. Now, Topaz has been a pure pain in the neck again. Pure pain in the neck. Like, I don't know what's up with her tonight. Like, she's always, like, very, you know, I want to be, like, where you are. But tonight she's been, like, extra, extra little cat oh my god he just committed seppuku Stop! <laughs> Guys, give me a minute. Stop, I'm gonna have to put you upstairs and I don't want to. I don't want to. Come here. Sit down. Relax. Like, I'm wondering if we're going back in time and we're getting like parts of the po story from the past. As we beat, so I guess we beat the first boss. That was it. Okay. So this is the neon stop. Topaz, you're being difficult. Man, tonight's stream is going to be all me complaining about the cat. That's what tonight's stream is going to be about. The lady in the chair. Sure. Okay, guys. Before we move on to whatever our next quest is going to be, 
Did I get a Bulger's Gate? I, I imagine you mean Baldur's Gate, but no, I did not get Baldur's Gate 3 yet. It's much too big of a game for me to uh, be playing right now. To be honest, like, Baldur's Gate is, like, going to be a huge, a huge game. I'll And since I know I won't be able to put time in it now, I'll just wait for it to go on sale on, on like, before I pick it up. But I am interested. I am, I am definitely interested in Baldur's Gate 3. It's been so long since Baldur's Gate, man, and I love my my D and D stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna try it, but not right now. When I if if I can find any dine downtime at any point, that will be when I will try Baldur's Gate. <laughs> um, okay, let's do the first giveaway. Let me just get Night Bodish in here and ready, because I forgot to have him join the channel. So just give uh, just give it a sec, guys, so I can know that he is in here. Um, let's see. He's okay. Oh my God! Don't pass. Stop. Uh, okay, it's, uh, yeah, we'll do this the old-fashioned way. I'll do it manually because I could have done it. I would have had to prepare one automatically, but uh, no. So we're doing Overcooked. Now we're doing this backwards. So uh, basically, let me just decapitalize that. I don't think it matters, but so if you want a copy, I'll put it on the screen as we're doing this so that you guys know what we're doing. Uh, so if you guys want a copy of Overcooked All You Can Eat, the standard edition for Nintendo Switch, I will be giving away a code. So all you need to do is if you want a chance to win Overcooked. I'm going to copy paste this. So if you want a chance to win Overcooked, all you can eat, all you need to do is type exclamation point Overcooked in the chat. And in about five minutes, I'll be rolling a winner. And I'll be sending you a digital code for Overcooked All You Can Eat. Which, as you can see here, if you do not win, guys, five bucks for a digital code on Amazon right now. This is insane. This, this is a really good deal. If you like party games, or even if you just want a party game that you can play online, because the great thing about Overcooked All You Can Eat is it actually works online. Now, I forgot to mention NA codes, uh, North America codes. Canada and the US, but I did validate Canada or the US both work with these codes, no issues. So whether you're in Canada, whether you're in the US or you just have a US account or Canadian account, you can have it. So as you guys uh, do that, I will just go back to the game.
Can you guys hear me now? Can you guys hear me? Let me know if you can hear me now. I think, unfortunately, yes, my cat had hit the switch at the bottom of the computer. Awesome. Good stuff, guys. Sorry about that. So I was trying to say that I'm not quite sure where we need to go now. Like, we can go a lot of different places, and I'm, I'm really wondering how we can actually get the store going. So now, guys, um, I'm going to draw the winner for uh, the Overcooked. So the first code, I'm going to roll it in just a couple of seconds. So make sure that if you guys have not hit exclamation point Overcooked, that you do it now. I'm about to roll it in like literally 30 seconds. And for the moment, I only have about like five or six people in there, which is fine. If you guys don't want it, no problemo. I understand if you already have it, I understand as well. Um, I know it's a popular game that a lot of people did do have, and I've I've mentioned it many times in in eShop deals. So I wouldn't be surprised that a lot of you have picked up the game already. But nonetheless, I want to make sure that all of you have a chance. So I'll wait another thirty seconds, and then I'll roll our first winner. Now, I'm really trying to figure out how to open my store because I put a bunch of stuff on the pedestals, but I don't see how I open, like, the store or if, like, all I have to do is be there and the store opens automatically. Is it, like, at a time of day? Because I know at the top right we have, like, the time of day and it's, like, 1.15. So, in my opinion, like, store should be open at 1.15, right? Okay, let's just put it like market price. Let's let's put it a little lower. Let's see if we can get people in here. I just really want to know if like like how we can get people in here. So like not crazy low, but like decent low. Like five bucks off of each item. Come on, guys, it's on sale. All right, so let's roll the first winner for Overcooked. Our first winner for tonight is Grovel. Grovel, man, coming in at the limit. Last person to enter. And you win, my friend. So please send me a email at maplesyrupgamingandtech at gmail.com. And I will send you the I will send you the code. If you do it, if you do it right away, let me know once you've sent the email. That way I can pop right in and I can send you the code while we are streaming. We go to the bathroom. No, we cannot. Like there must be a way to open this place. <laughs> and I really wish they would like like. I hate long tutorials, but like just the basics of like how it works would be, oh, it's down there. Just got it. Woo. Okay, we found it. Yeah, he doesn't want nothing. Well, you suck. All my items, man, are discounted. You should be you should be racking this stuff up. Come on. Hey, she, she doesn't like it. Just sent good stuff, man. While we're waiting for someone to buy something. So honestly, it is very much feeling like Moonlighter. Maybe a less refined version, but nonetheless the same basic formula. Oh, oh, Do I have to go say, hey, what's up? Noise. Oh, my God, Topaz is back. 
I actually have to type this one out, dude. Because it's on a freaking receipt. <laughs> so let me just type it out, then make sure I didn't make any typos. But you should be getting that super shortly. There we go, my friend. You should be getting the code right now in your email. It, it is it is very much alike to Moonlighter, but the game just froze. <laughs> the game just froze on me. Did I hit a button? Nope. The game just actually froze. Dang. Okie doke. Um, yeah, so you should have gotten that, uh, my friend. You should have uh, the code. You can try it out right away. Make sure I didn't make any typos. But let's hope uh, the game saved somewhere even remotely close to where we were. So unfortunately, guys, seems like there might be a few little glitches right now. It happens, though. This is the kind of thing that will be patched out. It all depends on how often it happens. It seems to be auto-saving every time I go out of a building, though. I saw the save icon, so hopefully it's not going to be too hurtful. Okay, so we're back pretty much where we were. Okay, so let's go open this place. Let's sell our stuff, and then we will go back out event adventuring. I want to see if it freezes up again. It'll be fun to see if we have the exact same customers as well. Because we had a dude like that that came in, didn't want anything. Then a woman, she didn't want nothing neither. She went sad face, yeah. I have one more, uh, one more copy, Caleb. I have one more copy that I'm giving away tonight. And they're, they're, I, I bought them, by the way. I, I bought them because the deal was so good that I'm like, oh my god, for five bucks I can get people... A full copy of Overcooked All You Can Eat. And I showed you guys, even if you don't win, seriously, for five bucks on Amazon, if this is a game you want, like, that's an insane pickup. You can go get a, a digital code on Amazon. GameStop has them too. So if you rather go in person, you can go to a GameStop and buy it in person at GameStop. But seriously, it's a crazy deal. But yeah, no, definite Moonlighter vibes from the game tonight. Um, hopefully, though, like I said, these the, the little glitch we just had where the game froze up isn't going to happen too often. And I'd like to have customers buy my crap. Come on. We're under market value. Oh, no, it doesn't have my adjustment. That's why this stuff is selling slower than last time. I get it. The storage in the menu is actually extra storage space for your weapons. I don't know if the Middle East. If you have a US, if you have a US account and you can buy off of a, a US Amazon, it'll work, uh, Caleb. Uh, the codes I have are also only. Um, <laughs> oh my god! But the code worked, so at least I know the code worked. Gravel. Yes, sir. I didn't make a typo. But um, 
Yeah, so the codes I have are for North America. So you have to have a US eShop account for it to work. So just, you know, when you guys enter the giveaway, just make sure you have a North American eShop account somewhere. I've mentioned many times, you don't actually have to be in North America to have a North American eShop account. Come on, buy my freaking bullet thing. Okay, this is getting a little too long. So what we're going to do is we're going to close the store. Oh, dang. Okay. There we go. Now, let's go out and adventure. Overcooks like, what, 14 gigabytes? Something like that? Maybe you can tell us. From memory, I think it's like, I thought, I thought it was like 14 or something like that. Oh, so the discovered areas remain. However, I'm already at like only one freaking heart. Man, I didn't I didn't get healed or anything. Like I'm feeling like there was something I had to do to get myself healed. Wait, let's see uh what the description of the katana is. Kinda hits pretty decent. Just doesn't have crazy range. Oh, well, we're gonna pick it up. We'll try it out. Oh, dang. Thank you. I don't know when we killed that dude or... Now we'd actually have enough to buy this stuff. DPS down, ammo down, fire rate up, bigger mag. The thin killer. Like, I feel like I don't want to waste money on any of this, though. I feel like we're doing pretty decent with what we have. It is very possible because I thought I got hit by bullets there again, but I did not. I, at least I didn't lose any health, but that guy rushed me down. So the katana seems pretty freaking amazing for slow moving enemies. You have a nice selection of weapons now. It's like now it's raining weapons. Okay, so enemies can hit each other, uh, hit each other too. Like even the enemies there that weren't like that didn't seem to be aggressive to each other, because the guy shot through the other one, it actually hit him. Most likely, Caleb. Like I can buy from Amazon US, even though I'm in Canada. Like I don't, I can't promise you because I don't know what like legislation is like, f like for 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 where you're at. But I wish the music, though, was a little more upbeat. Like, so far, I think the biggest part of the game that is somewhat... Like, if I'm comparing this to Moonlighter, which has, like a, like I said, a similar gameplay concept. Like, one thing about Moonlighter is that the music is freaking amazing. And it, 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 it like, it really pushes you into the gameplay. This one, the music is, like, very forgettable. It's, like, atmospheric. Yes, but I don't find it's adding to the gameplay. 
and the, the the gun sound effects are like okay but they aren't over the top topaz man why are you being like this tonight told okay i need a pass Fifteen hundred? Fifteen hundred. Okay, so that's how they keep you from going too far in the game. Like, we basically have to farm for money. Now, what I wonder is, like, can I just walk back to my car and leave and, and sell, like, the stuff we have? Well, actually, our pack is a lot bigger than this. We can keep all of this. Nice. I'm going to try this other gun a bit. Like, I wonder if we can buy these guns and then sell them back for more money. Like, you know, those guns were like 235. Uh, I think I'm going to see when we get back to the shop because I didn't sell any guns last time. Like I sold items, but I didn't sell guns. That thing's still annoying me because I'm pretty sure there's like something to do there. Yo, oh, these crazies are running at us with like. Okay, so that gun, that gun was okay, but like nothing to write home about. Let's try this one. Okay, so this one has a much better fire rate. I'm already liking it like a million times more. Topaz, seriously tonight, what is with you? What is with you tonight? Yes, I, I get it. I love you too. Yes. Here to the side. There's a strong chance, Grovel, that we will be playing Vampire Survivor. Because that feels like a perfect stream game. Like, like perfect, perfect. You know what I mean? Come on. there. It's hard to think of a game that's like better stream than something like vampire survivor because it's going to be fun quick games there isn't a million things to learn about the game we're just going to be able to jump in and have some fun oh, sack. that so annoys me they they're, they 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 run straight for you and they're so freaking quick There's a question mark over there. So we've really got to go through to all the question marks. Okay, that's like trap stuff. Man, like seriously, it's raining guns in this <laughs> this time. Like we're like at eight guns now. Oh, nice. A uh, teleporter. So we can actually teleport back and i imagine that's the thing is like when you feel that you can't really get any further i'm imagining you have to teleport back sell your garbage it's it's really really like moonlighter but with more of a shooting type mechanic than than that and unfortunately less polished um i'm gonna say it right away less polished because, you know, Moonlighter, although it's pixel art, it feels like an extremely polished game. This one, I'm not saying feels bad. It just feels less polished than that other game that has a very similar setup.
Are we going to need a pass to go into that zone as well? We're about to get to a different color zone as well. So we're going to go see if we need a pass for that zone as well. Like, I would have thought that when I slept, um, like, back in the overworld, that it would have recharged my hearts. Did you see the quest from the shop? I wish there was a way, like, I honestly don't know if there's a way, so I, the, oh yeah, there is up top. Okay, we have Blight Purge, kill 100 monster. Oh, so we have 43 done. We're expanding. Upgrade the soft storage using the terminal. But I did. I did upgrade the storage. I did buy an extra storage thing, Yimajig. I'll check it out again when we go back to the overworld. Dang, dang, dang. And that was like right up in my face. I'm gonna try this new gun. Oh my god, this hits way too weak. Nope. Honestly, I think this one, which is like the second gun we got, or third gun we got, I think is my favorite so far. Oh, this is only 500. You can actually buy the pass here. So I'm guessing this is going to be the second zone. We're going to wait till we actually, like... See, like finish all of this zone but at least I know that the white zone is like totally viable like we can go there next was that the quest you were talking about Lionel the one where I have to upgrade just upgrade my storage Like, honestly, this is feeling like a decent game once it's... Because right now, I, I think it's around the $20 mark. Like, but already now that things are starting to flesh out a bit. Once again, it depends how often it'll glitch. But unless it really becomes a problem. Because honestly, a game that glitches every now and then, whatever, it's going to happen. But, yeah, it's like 20 bucks right now. I feel that when this one is going to be a little bit heavier on sale, it's going to be like a good pickup. At 20, I'm a little iffy on it, especially when you have like things like Moonlighter on sale that has a similar concept, but like I said, more refined. At the same time, however, Moonlighter is way more about melee combat. It's not about shooting. So if you really don't like melee combat and more like of a medieval setting, it's not gonna like you know th this will maybe speak way more to you but i i do think nonetheless that it feels a little better to suggest around a ten dollar mark than it does around the twenty dollar mark i haven't played enough of it to get a final opinion on it or like to give a rating full yet but yeah that i, I think value wise from a quick perspective that's gonna be most likely where I think a sweet spot is going to be for this game. A thousand. So this is like zone two. So towards the right, it's actually like zone three. The beast quest. When you left the bed part A, bed part A quest appeared. I don't think I don't think I saw it then. We'll go I'll I'll check it out when we go back. I 
Like, I don't know if I was supposed to finish zone one so quickly. Because, like, we pretty much finished the boss for zone one, it feels like. Oh, we're back to full health. I'm really having an issue with the music though it's getting really repetitive I wish I wish it was giving me a little more <laughs> I know I'm being complaining and it's and it's weird to focus on something like the music but especially in a game where like like visually it's not that impactful and there isn't that much going on I really feel like you need to have like pumping music and like how how is this not synthwave <laughs> like no offense like this game needs synthwave music not like this like um, slow beat like ominous music And this one is how much? 250. Bro, we're going to go here. This is the this is the cheaper. This is the cheapest one. Dang. Someone has a machine gun over there. thought of rolling that time and it saved me a saved me a hit yeah when you're rolling you are purely invincible <laughs> yeah I, honestly I think the music's really putting me down it's odd to see it's odd to say and, and plus now we change zones and it's the same music. I really wished when we changed zones, like the music would change. I'm harping a bit, but it's like, it's sort of dampening my experience a bit. And it's too bad because I think the, I think the base gameplay here has a lot of promise. There's a lot of good ideas. I just want to see how many, uh, cause I'm killing a lot of these guys. Now. Thirty-six. There's a question mark over there, so I guess we'll angle towards the question mark. We're actually not getting any ammo now, though. I don't know yet. Like, that, honestly, if every... Like, if the whole game has this one track... I don't want to be mean, but that's going to be pretty bad. Like, it, it's going to probably, for me, be like a sticking point where... Experience-wise, like... Like, if I review the game, no, no offense, it's going to probably get a whole point removed. Just for the fact that, like, there's one track. The loop is very short. Like, listen to it. The loop is very short. 
Like, it, it, there isn't an... It isn't a badly looped where, like, you get an obvious, like, break in the music when you know it's looping back. But if you listen to it, it is looping. And so it's a clean loop, but it's a short one. We have another teleporter here. And we have a question mark at the top there. So we're going to try to get to the top there. I don't know if that's another boss fight. Now, I, I just want to check my weapons because I got like a crap ton of weapons here. DPS is down, but everything else is up on this one. DPS is down. Like, I think this is the heaviest hitting gun I have. That really is. Dwarf. Part of me is wondering, though, if I don't, if like this is the heaviest hitting gun I have, but should I be wasting all the bullets on? 45 is pretty decent. 35, 45, 19, 518, 519, 38, 21. So it fires really quick. 20. Okay, so let's pop this boy up here. Let's switch to this. I just want to sort of save my 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 heavy hitting gun for like if, if we are getting to the boss fight I think I'm going to want to switch to my heavy hit my heaviest hitting gun for the boss fight rather than use it on like all these trash mobs <laughs> I'm a jolly guy I can get my I can get my angry moments but it's like to me, getting angry at a game is, like, weird. I feel weird. Like, disappointed is one thing, but actually angry, like, it, it would take a lot to get me, like, like, actually angry at a game, like, where I'd be, like, yelling or whatnot, and, like, because, like, I love Angry Joe, but, like, you know, to me, it's, like, a game is a game, and... Maybe the, the closest thing, though. I don't have a beer tonight. I know, dude. I was so annoyed. I forgot to pick up beer. Well, I, the worst is I went to buy, like, stuff for supper, okay? I was supposed to buy beer. I forgot. I got home, and then I didn't have time to go back out. I was so sad. So I do not have my traditional beer tonight. And I know it sucks. That's, that, that must be why the music's getting to me. I ha I don't have my beer. If I had my beer, the music wouldn't be annoying me so bad. <laughs> but honestly, yeah. So that's it. Like to me, I'm I, I like being more like concise and direct and and like analyze why I don't like something, than like start yelling and you know like I find that it makes your arguments less valid when you're just being like this is trash, this is trash. Okay, why is it trash? You know, but Angry Joe does a good job of that. But his personality, obviously, his st his shtick, you know, is like like going over the top and getting like super angry. But here we are at a boss. Okay, so he fudged us up there. So when he pumps up. We roll.
Ah, I have to, I messed up there. Ah, poison. No, we're gonna die. I'm so annoyed. No! Man, we were doing so good. So good. Till, till that. Hello, Lara. Where am I? Oh, yes. Purgatory. Purgatory. Yeah, it's a bit complex and weird. All you need to know is that we are, are, we are, that you are dead. What? Dead? Yes, trust me. Giving the news. I'm Max, your Grim Reaper. What the F is going on? Fun stuff. Well, not so fun for you, but quite a treat for me. Even if it's all I do, I think I was programmed to enjoy this. Sidetracked? Oh, well, let's hope they weren't monitoring this. Dead strange, don't you think? Well, about that. Good news, you are not dead. At least you won't be in a second. Oh, well, thank God. What the heck? Did we what what guns did we keep? So we keep our five primary guns, but we lose all the others. That sort of sucks. Yeah, Scott the Waz is awesome. Oh, me too. Like, like, like the NFL stuff there, the Madden stuff, man. Like, the, come on, those are his best videos where he just goes on a rant about Madden for like hours and hours. Okay, so we're gonna go straight to another run because I want to go kill that uh, that ass hat because honestly, like, the poison is just stupid. It's like stupid that it freaking takes off like a whole heart. Like it. it at that point, it should just take off the full heart from the start. It's dumb that it takes off like two half hearts when there's nothing you can do about it at a time. Topaz, man, you're royally, royally getting on my nerves now. The worst is I didn't switch to my top weapon. We can go straight here. We're gonna try him again. Wow! Topaz, please stop. Like seriously, <laughs> like it was funny at the beginning. N now it's getting a little bit very annoying, Toto. The katana does kill uh does kill bullets guys we just saw the answer there i just sliced through the bullets the only thing that's gonna suck about if i use the katana is i have to be really close because as i saw there the range is not that long go one more down only 17 blight law monsters let yet i said ass hat yeah <laughs> yeah we're gonna go kill that ass hat yeah he, he annoys he honestly like the like his stupid acid stuff or whatever you want to call it like poison like i I didn't like the mechanic. I find like poison mechanics that kill over time make sense when you can actually do something about the poison. But when it kills you over time in a game and you can't do anything about the poison, like what's the point? I don't know if you get what I mean. Like what's the point of that mechanic if there's nothing you can do to prevent the loss of poison? And that is what happens when there's no freaking beer. No, I'm going to get angry. No, I'm joking. Not going to fake it. But seriously, yeah, it, probably the fact that there's no beer does has affected slightly my reflexes. And Topaz, seriously! Oh, 
Okay, the, the, the katana is hard to do because I have to be so close to it. Oh my god, I can kill his things before they come out. Oh my god. Bro. That poison again. Yes, revive. Do I actually have the sampler? Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, so you said there was a quest somewhere. Okay, I wanna. I, sorry, guys, we're gonna go straight back. I'm not taking this. This guy, go, this guy's going down. I don't know why I did so bad that time at dodging his stupid like stuff because the first time around I did like really good. The basic only thing that killed me was the stupid, stupid poison. In my shop. Oh, I thought in the girl's shop. Okay, I'll I'll check again. My <laughs> sorry, Lionel. man. My bad. My bad. I'll check in my shop. Okay, now like, how do I use this? Ah. Not doing anything. Unless is it just collecting them automatically because I have the item? Maybe. Nope. Unless when they say monsters, they really now aren't counting like the the humans. They're, they want just the like ones that actually look like blight monsters. Or maybe it's just the boss. Mm, maybe it's the boss I have to sample. Or maybe I have to kill a ton of these boss type creatures. It's like, honestly, ain't doing squat with any button. I'm gonna try on this thing though. Oh, nine remaining. Did it work with this one? Eight remaining. Yes, it does work. Okay, so it's only counting the monster monsters. Good stuff. see what other weapons we got 20 38 
45. It's just too bad I only have 58 bullets left on the big gun. We're going to try this, and then we're going to finish him off with the, with the katana. The shotgun hasn't been doing very well, man. When I tried the shotgun, it was pretty freaking garbage. Which is why no shotgun right now. And the problem with the monster using the katana is that if he does the bullet thing, I'm so close to him, I like don't have time to dodge it. Oh, I think we can get bullets here. If this green shit can go away. Nice. We've got bullets for the big gun. The big gun. What time is it? 8.19. Okay, guys. In about 10 minutes, we're going to do the second giveaway. And I am going to have to cut out around 8.30ish tonight because my brother's here. <sighs> we have to do other stuff. And I, th nonetheless, I think we saw like... You know, I, I do think we, we got a good I idea of what this game is all about. Watch you, man, with your stupid poison. Oh my god. This dude with his freaking poison is driving me nuts. Woosa. 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 Holy crud, man. Okay, I'm not giving up where we're going straight back because I do want to do this before we leave. And there's no way I'm ending on this dude killing me like three times in a row without me taking him down. Just not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Topaz. No, we haven't done that quest yet. Four samples remaining. I'm looking forward to find out if they give me just money for quest or if it's like stuff. Oh man, I'm out of bullets. Standard gun sucks now that I'm used to hitting like for 45 or more. Yeah. 
one sample remaining. At least we're going to have the quest done. There we go. Quest is done. Now, basically, even when it looks like he's going to spit, even when it looks he's going to spit, I'm going to have to dodge nonetheless. Because basically, when he does his stupid acid spit, Oh my god, I so dodge rolled that freaking... Fudge you, bro. I freaking... What the heck? That is so stupid, man. Holy crap. Like, that just freaking pissed me off, man. Like, he knew I was gonna beat him, and he just went on freaking, like, insane, like, spitting freaking acid, like, all over. There wasn't one place I could go that there wasn't acid. <laughs> See what this guy's gonna give me. He wasn't powerful, he was cheap as shit. <laughs> now I'm out of bullets. Oh my god. Like, I can't even go straight for him because I have no freaking bullets. Oh my god, this does not remind you of the missile jump. Do not talk to me about the missile jump. <sighs> no, nothing compares to the missile 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 jump. Okay, we're gonna try one last time, guys. I'm gonna try it with the katana. Actually, if I face him with the katana, I think I can just block all his crap. Except if he spits like freaking acid in my face like how, uh, how, I don't get that I didn't kill enough dudes yet though light purge four remaining god dang it that's why we didn't get that quest there's four monsters remaining that's like so stupid don't worry, I didn't worry, I didn't forget about the giveaway, by the way, guys. We got two monsters left. We 
We got one monster left. We got one monster left. Because <laughs> I guess that wasn't a monster. So yeah, the humans don't count, so that's why we didn't get to 100. See, that? what sucked there is I was hitting the katana button, but apparently when you load into a screen, the monsters can hit you before you can do your first weapon swipe. What is this? What is this thing supposed to do? Metal detector. Find all the things. So what does it does it find hidden items for us? Because I, I want to sort of like ah uh, hold on. I didn't have a katana equipped. Oh my god. I was hoping to get my hearts back, but apparently I'm gonna lose more hearts. I cannot fight the monster like with one heart left. I'm trying to find some more weapons or something. What time is it? Oh, I three. So annoying. Uh, the price is $20 normally. Right now it's on sale 10% off. It's like $17.99, but the full price is $20. Okay, we have ammo for the big gun. I just lose another hit there. Yeah, there's a problem when you load into a screen. You got a heart back. That's the worst is like the katana is good against everything except these guys because they rush. That's the only enemy like the katana is like not so good against is the rushing dudes. Okay, I feel like we should start heading back towards the, the boss. I'll try him on two hearts. Like I said, we just need to go Ultra Instinct on his ass. And... I was sure the screen was emptied. Okay, hold on. We're going to teleport to the dude that's gonna, that, where, that we finished the quest on. Holy crap! Can you stop? That's where we started. What did he give us for that one, though? <laughs> he gave us, like, nothing. Okay. 
Let's just take our car. We need to find a way to refill our health. I imagine I can go to the medic and he can refill our health. And then we can come back and we can try the boss. What? Cost 250 to re That is that that is robbery. That is freaking robbery. Um I feel like I should just go here. Dump this guy here. Here, like I feel we we should do that because we're just gonna save the gun. It's empty anyway, and if we have bullets, I'm gonna put them in my big gun, not that one. I'm pretty. Oh, dude, Lionel, I forgot again the freaking quest you told me, but the, um, the bed doesn't heal you. I tried it. The uh, bed does not heal you. Uh, heal you. Yeah, don't worry. I didn't forget about the giveaway, dude. I'm gonna try the boss one last time. Win or lose, we do the giveaway, and uh, it's gonna. We're 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 gonna be calling it a night for tonight. Killed the wrong gun. Yeah, I get the bah. It's okay, it's Now or never, dudes. Now or never. And I get hit off the first rush. Wow. The worst showing of the night gonna be my final attempt. Wow. No more no more bullets. God dang it. Oh okay. I'm I'm not uh Whoa. I'm not talking about this anymore. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna type that. All you have to do is type exclamation point overcooked. So type exclamation point overcooked. Type exclamation point overcooked, and you'll be entered in the giveaway. I'll be running um I'll be running it in like I'll give you guys like a minute or two to enter it. I'll mess around here in the game while we're waiting for it to go. Yeah, it's dude, it's uh, don't even talk to me about it like I'm like I'm actually like re really pissed right now, but what you going to do about it? I suck. I'm sucking more and more because I'm getting frustrated. Now, you said there was a quest in my shop. In the terminal, right? Yeah, 
it, it's it, it's not that hard. the worst is uh, like i'm i'm insisting it's not that hard i'm i'm just sucking up tonight and i don't know why like i was too i was tuned into that first boss where like i thought i was gonna die and i took care of his his ass and like i don't know did that second one just was not having it a weapons workshop looks interesting like i'm wondering if this shelf is does anything because like it's like storage but like it doesn't do anything exclamation point overcooked guys don't forget i'm going to be doing it in just another minute just another minute exclamation point overcooked guys make sure you type that in Make sure you're in the chat when you win so that I can send you the email address. You can tell me that you're there. So I'm going to wait another minute. Then we're going to roll our second winner for tonight. Honestly, th th this game isn't bad. I'm disappointed with the music, but overall, game still has a lot of good stuff to offer. Um... It has an addictive loop because even right now I'm like I want to try the boss again. I'm not going to I'm not going to because unfortunately like I really can't. I don't have time right now to do it, but um I really want to. <laughs> I really want to. However, like I said, it is penalizing now because I would have to take time to gr gather some more weapons. Like when I was at my strongest, the first time I did the boss, I lost a shit ton of weapons because I went because I lost because I died. I honestly should have came back, dumped my weapons. Like when you get to a boss area, you should always zoom back, dump all your weapons, keep like the four best ones you need because you don't lose the ones in your quick select menu. And then go do the boss. There's no reason to do the boss before dropping your weapons off. Like, logically. And you have, like, five spaces here. Plus, you can put five of them on the pedestals. So you can have, like, ten weapons in your store ready to go. The last Ronin announcement. Is there an announcement I missed concerning last Ronin? I'm going to see the Turtles movie tomorrow. But I didn't see, is there something new happening considering the last Ronin? Other than the fact that, like, the comic book. Okay, I'm going to roll the winner. Needless Dragon. You have won the giveaway. Needless Dragon. So, email me at Maple Syrup. You've won before, I'm pretty sure. Maple syrup gaming and tech at gmail.com. Oh, yes, you're right. There is a THQ Nordic game coming out. You are totally right. I forgot about it. Does any shop have different bullets? Possibly. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's like th that is where the rogue light elements come in. Like I'm pretty sure the shops are different because the, the map seems to be consistent. Hey, so needless dragon, if you send me your email and you let me know you sent your email, that way I know you're, it's you and I can get you your code like right away. So if you send me, uh, your email, like right away, we can get that done. And, um, you know what? While, while I'm waiting for you to send me the email. Go, 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 go. Go car, fly, fly. Fly car, fly. Let's go visit a shop. I'm gonna go buy myself a gun up there. My, my gun has no bullets, my gun has no bullets, my gun has no bullets. Like, flipping guns while you're fighting is not very efficient, by the way. Like, because of the, bu the button positioning, not super efficient. Because you, you have to sort of let go of the, of the, of the, the like, left joystick to hit the D-pad. 
and that's why I died that last time. Like, well, I was probably going to die anyway, but it was one of the major reasons I died was because I, I was trying to switch weapons and I couldn't dodge at the same time. Like, these all seem like terrible fucking guns. Sorry. Terrible freaking guns. <laughs> terrible freaking guns. Okay, so forget that. Forget that plan. Hey man, how you doing? Good, good. Won't be much longer. I'm almost done, my man. My brother's down here. Let's go see if the shop still works, because I oh, I have no keys. Oh yeah, the shop's here. Someone where you were asking if the shop is different, it is different. Quicker on your feet. Oh my god, this is... yes. Dude, quicker on your feet, definitely better than that. That's my good gun though. Better aim quicker on our feet. I want to see this better aim. Yeah, the movement speed definitely is faster. The letters were different that time. There must be a secret there, like... Oh, there you go. Got you, Needless, needless Dragon. Got you. Here. Okay, give me a sec. Let me type it out. Yep, you should be good to go, my friend. I just sent you the email. Like, there's an order in which the switches work and an order in which they don't work, but I it, it doesn't seem to do anything. Hey, no problem, Gregory. Have a great one. Thanks for stopping by. Where's the... Uh, we're, we're near a teleporter. Honestly, I th what I think we're going to do, because honestly, guys, I don't... I, I really don't think I have time. Oh, no. We can teleport to the... 
dodge this. You can teleport. Topaz is saying hi to my brother. Teleport there. I really would love to get like... I would really like to get some bullets. But now we have faster movement. It might be just enough for me to, to help me dodge his crap. Only 78 bullets in this gun too, man. Like after that, I'll have to katana fight him. We got some kind of a gun. I'll check what it is when we get closer, when we get right before the boss. No, I uh, want this. 75 bullets in our big gun. We're gonna we're gonna try and kill these guys if we don't get lucky. Yeah, we did get lucky. Noise. Okay, let's check what our oh no, we have one like screen here. Let's do here. Oh, I almost got hit. Okay. Guys, we might be in business. Okay, we might be in business here. What's this? 35, but uh, ammo, 1, 225. Okay. We might be in business here. Do this. Don't get hit like that for stupid reasons. Topaz, now's not the time. Like, if there was ever not a time, now is, like, that not a time. If he goes into ultra, like, freaking spitting his poison all over mode again, I'm gonna flip out. In Ugh! I had to hold back guys because I was about to destroy your ears. I had to think of how to express the satisfaction. New crest, new quest trapped souls. But you know what? We good. We're gonna save, right? Saved. Nice. Woo! What a perfect way to end the night. What a perfect way. Seriously, we done. I'm gonna get out of here really quick. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, guys, pick up those deals if you haven't. Five bucks for that game is insane. Uh, if you have more of a budget, Xenoblade, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, Bayonetta 3 on sale. I'm going to try to do a little quick video tomorrow on that if the deals are still around tomorrow morning. Can't promise I'll have time to get that out, but I will be trying. 
Uh, yeah, I know. I'm always clutch when I'm about to sign off. It's like that. It's it's the ultra instinct last moment. There's no no turning back. You know, Bruce Lee, let's go for it. Anyway, hey, I enjoyed it tonight, guys. Honestly, a decent game. Maybe just I wish it was a little cheaper. Wish it had a better soundtrack. But overall, still super addictive loop. So if you're into this, you can check it out. If not, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.